Om Shanti, today we are going to do the recording of 13th of June, Godly Blessing, which Supreme Godfather wants us to become a complete pure Vaishnav. Now if you know, you must have seen Vaishnav dhabas or places to eat in India whenever you are going around the country. So those places are where they don't cook anything with garlic and onion. But that is something to do with the purity of the body. Here we are talking about becoming complete pure Vaishnav, somebody who actually has got purity in their thoughts. That means the mind and intellect is completely pure. So let's understand what does God want us to teach us about becoming a pure Vaishnav. God says, may you become a complete Vaishnav and a successful Tapasvi. So Tapasvi is somebody who makes a complete decision to leave a bad habit and focuses on the good habit which one needs to take over. That is known as Tapasya. It is something like somebody who is studying for an exam, wants to get 100% marks, is doing tapasya actually is focused on the vision focused by having that willpower to reach over there and nothing else matters nothing can stop that person to reach there not even the day or the night not even sleep not even hunger nothing can stop you that is known as tapasya so tapasya who doesn't touch anything bad with your mind or intellect vaishnav so may you become a complete vaishnav and a successful tapasya who doesn't Touch anything bad with your mind or intellect. So those with the personality and royalty of purity. So if you have a personality of purity and royalty, your behavior, your thoughts, your words and actions are completely pure and royal. Cannot touch anything bad with their minds or intellect. They can't even think of anything negative or impure in anybody because they understand that that impurity or negativity is actually a drainage within their own spiritual life. It's like draining away the pure, powerful energy of creativity when you're looking at somebody, when you're comparing, when you're getting envy, when you're getting jealous of somebody. So that impurity cannot be there in the mind or the intellect. Just as in Brahman life, when we follow Godfather's first child, Brahma or Adam, and any physical attraction or physical touching is impurity. That means if you have the thought of any kind of physical attraction to any physical being, that means you're not soul conscious, you're body conscious, and that itself makes your mind waver around and you lose your purity and you lose your peace of mind. Because if there's no purity, then there's no peace and there's no prosperity. That's what we experience when we follow purity or Brahman life. In the same way, allowing your mind or intellect to be attracted or touched by any vice, even in thoughts. So lust is one thing, but anger, ego, jealousy, comparison, competition, hatred, envy, any kind of these thoughts, if they touch your mind, that means they just flow in your thoughts. Then that means... This is a vice and it has taken away your peace of mind. It has taken away a part of your energy or willpower. So do not touch anything bad even with your thoughts. That is known as being a Vaishnav. This indicates a complete Vaishnav and a successful Tapasvi who is focused on not allowing anything impure or viceful to touch but everything pure instead, everything divine instead. Just like yesterday's blessing where we spoke about the swan so a holy swan is always focusing on picking up the pearls and not the stones so whom do we want to become because our peace of mind depends upon whether we follow this blessing or not so how do you become some vaishnav how do you become a pure being a tapasvi being is what we learn in brahma kumaris and this is for each and every soul on this earth irrespective of which religion do they belong to being a vaishnav doesn't mean that you become a Hindu but being a Vaishnav means somebody who's got pure thoughts pure intellect towards others that is what is mean that is what it means to become a Vaishnav are you ready to become a Vaishnav for your own peace of mind for your own happiness for your own light-heartedness and lightness of your mind to learn more about this you can come and learn the seven day course at Brahma Kumaris and learn how do you become this and how do you practice to become like this with this Mushanti.